Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And today we're going to take a look at the ROG Ryu 4. Now, uh, four, it's the fourth one, but is it very different to any of the other ones that they've done uh, recently? Uh, yeah, there's a fairly big upgrade with this one in that there is a 2K 60 Hertz, 6.6 inch AMO OLED screen effectively nailed to the top of the AIO. Now, obviously with that, you can control the screen with software, you can put whatever you like on it. Um, you can get it to sync up with uh, temperatures and uh, usage and all that sort of stuff, which I will show you in a minute. But what we do need to do is get down and dirty and take a look at this in the rig. Now the screen itself, like I said, 6.67 inch AMO OLED. It's a 2K screen and it's 60 Hertz and it is enormous but I can just pull it off and show you just like this it's got a satin sort of top on it it's actually more like a mini well not even mini because it's a big old unit there's a lot of details going on with it as well now when it's fitted to your rig like that it's held on with magnets there are some there is some sorry adjustability where you can slide it backwards and forwards now the adjustability is so that you can get it away from your memory but also so that you can get access to the screws on the other side. I actually really like the cage around the uh, outside. It just gives it that extra kind of burly look. And then there are some small details as well where you've got this uh, Velcro rug uh, section at the back, which again, it does just give it that extra bit of detailing. And that's kind of what we've come to expect with rug. Something that we've not come to expect with ROG though, and it was something that I found really annoying. Now the fans come pre-installed when they come straight out the box. And uh, mine come with the fan connections on this side. Now if you were to flip the fans round, and you could do, it would mean that the wires would be at the back of the rig, over here, easier to hide, easier to get, um, uh, yeah, just hide really, get rid of, be able to cable tidy. This does not make any sense and it's not like you can fit it the other way around either because it can only go in this way now one of the things i would say as far as fitting it is concerned i'm using the lanley 011 xl it's a big case i can get a 420 in the roof there is a lot of room between the top of the motherboard and the top of the case like we could get another two sets of fans in between the AIO and the motherboard if we wanted and you can see that the hoses here are still curved because they are quite long so I'm going to go as far as say I think they're probably a bit too long uh, something else I did think is the hoses up here can't turn on the bottom they can do we can spin these ones but we can't on the top and I think you should have been able to have uh, moved them around. I also think, I understand that they've put the hoses on the radiator, as I shove my finger in the fan, don't laugh, um, in the middle. I understand why they've done it, because it's in the middle and it just means it's balanced. But those hoses would have been so much better if it was in line here, because then it's pretty much going to go straight up and you could have run... Uh, shorter hoses as well. So this whole kind of setup I think is kind of in its infancy and I think if they had have made these bendy, put the hose connections over here, I think we could have had much shorter runs and I think it would have actually looked a lot better. Um, if you imagine this when it's in someone's rig where they've got the uh, radiator down much closer to the motherboard, I think it's actually going to look a lot messier because you're going to get a lot more bunch up with these maybe that's why they've moved it over but with those if they could be rotated i think they could have uh, made it a lot tidier now i've moved the fan cables round now you can see that they poke out just up here they've gone straight behind the motherboard tray back out and around and then connect to the motherboard itself and you can see it looks so much tidier and I think for a premium product like this with this kind of value and build quality and just what it stands for that is how it should have come out of the box. 
When you do first look at the AIO, you will see that the radiator is a bit thicker on the uh, back side and there are two sets of uh, fan mounts. Now that does mean that you can bolt uh, into the 140 mounts if you want, but what it does really mean is that you can move the uh, radiator outwards away from the motherboard sort of area if you want to be able to get better alignment for the hoses on the other side. So one of the things I did find really annoying when actually using it was uh, in the top left over here, you can see Armoury Crate, where we'd normally have all of our Asus items that we've got installed. The Ryu doesn't show up on it. And what you have to do is install another piece of software, which is InfoHub. Now, I don't know why it's not linked in with the pair. It doesn't make any sense to have a central piece of equipment uh, central piece of software and then it not work on it like it should at least be integrated with it a little bit um, but anyway so that really annoyed me and it actually did make me think for a little while that the unit itself was broken because I just wrongly assumed but anyway with the actual unit itself you can go through lots of different settings and uh, setups they do have some uh, uh, active screens that you can have on there. I'd definitely like to see more. Um, I do hope that Asus expand this and there'll be a place, a central place where you can go and download some of these because the graphics that Asus do, I think, are second to none in the industry. I think they're spot on. Um, even the static designs that they do, I've always really liked. So I really do hope that they capitalise on this and there will be more available. But you can have temperatures and uh, percentage uses and all kinds of stuff that you can move around and you can have it on the uh, outside of the screen. You can have it on the main part of the screen. It's a really lovely thing. It is still fairly limited at the moment, but I do hope it will get a lot better. Um, but like I said, the only real thing for me that spoiled it was having to have yet another piece of software and it doesn't even integrate with Armoury Crate at all. Okay, so it's been a while since I've reviewed an Asus product and I've actually picked up multiple things that I've not particularly been happy about. Okay, so the fan thing. That could have been an error in quality control and in the initial uh, build-up. But for someone like Asus, for something like this, I don't think that should be happening at all. Also, with the software, it annoyed me more than it should, but it's just because Armoury Crate gets such a bad rep that it's bloatware. And if you've got bloatware that's meant to be able to control every single piece of ROG software in your system, why have you then got a completely separate piece of software? That you, and you do have to install it separately. Um, beyond that, it was little things like the hosing, I think, is too long and it should have been able to have been uh, twisted and aligned at both ends. I also think that uh, if they just set it over so it sat on the join between number one and number two fan, it would have lined up so much better with so many other motherboards rather than the hoses coming out and going over. It just didn't particularly make a great deal of sense. They could have made it more um, aesthetically pleasing. I understand putting it in the middle would please a certain uh, type of OCD thinking I completely understand that but if it was aesthetically straight down I think that would have been so much better you could have got away with shorter hoses as well because I use a big case and those hoses are still too long uh, I've just looked for prices and it was a 369 scan in the UK while that's really expensive um, it is still less than some of the other Ryu's have been in the past. So to get that big screen um, and it be less than I have seen them before, um, I'm not going to say it's good value, but it was actually less than I thought. I wouldn't have flinched if this was a 450 unit. I would have moaned a lot, but because of what it was and who made it, uh, I would have been like, oh, okay, it's a shame it's so expensive but it's one of theirs, so you just kind of get used to it. So it was less than I thought it was going to be, is the point I was trying to make. Um, beyond that, performance. We do need to talk about performance, and the fans do go up to 2,750 RPM. 
With our test kit though, literally once you get past about 2000 RPM, it doesn't really make any difference. There's no, like you would need so much heat dump to get even close. Now I know people are gonna say, oh 14900K, but with a 14900K, the cooler isn't the problem. It's the actual CPU gets overloaded. So it doesn't matter what cooler that you bolt to the top of that, it's still never going to be good enough. This would have made, wouldn't have made any difference in that regard. Um, so the fan speed's cool, nice, like it gives you some options there. I just don't see any of you at home really getting uh, much benefit from it. If you were uh, hardcore overclocking and running it at the absolute, like the fans going crazy and stuff like that, but it's not gonna be something that you're gonna use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I actually don't see many of you even with overclocking, want to push much past 2000 RPM. The, the, the benefits just aren't there. It did perform well though. I actually thought it performed quite well at the lower RPMs. I always want to keep an eye on 1000 RPM, for example. And uh, as you'll see, we do do gaming results. So if you have a look at gaming results, that's going to be what most of you are going to be using it for. At that point, what I would be doing is that I wouldn't have it above 1250 RPM. And the only reason why I'd go a little bit higher than 1000 will be because the AIO is actually gonna be helping the rest of your rig breathe as well. So um, 12,500 RPM, turn the uh, pump down a little bit so that it's not screaming uh, away when it's quiet at night. And I think you're gonna be really happy with it. I do think though that we do need ASUS to bring us more of the screens for us to download and more video sort of things for us to be able to play with. Asus are the king of the graphics, so they could literally make this an absolute no-brainer. Whereas at the moment, I don't think the uh, graphics that it comes with it and are available are quite enough yet. It, with this, I would end up wanting to run my own video screen or static images, I wouldn't want to use the Asus ones. So I do hope they get on the top of that. But that is uh, the end of the video today. Please remember to click through to the website, go and have a look, like, subscribe, comment, leave me your uh, feedback underneath, and I will be back with another video for you very soon. Tiny Tom Logan out. Ding!